Have you ever grabbed your laptop, maybe it's your iPad or your Kindle, and you plop down on your couch for what you believe is gonna be 20 or 30 minutes, and then all of a sudden, by the time you look at your watch, an hour, maybe even two hours have passed, and you think to yourself, hmm, is this the best position for me to be working right now, or am I actually hurting myself and I'm gonna pay for it later on tonight? Well, if so, my friend, this video is for you. Hi there, my name is Morgan Risden, and I'm the creator of Center Studio, where I teach people skills to feel more comfortable more often. And if you haven't already, friend, I would love if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can do so by hitting the button below, and of course, at the end, you can like and share the video with anyone you think might enjoy. So today's video was inspired by Instagram. I was uh, going through some stories, and I happened upon one of my uh, previous students a photo that her boyfriend had taken and it was a photo of her you know busy at work on the couch and so I shot her a quick note because I was thinking to myself oh actually you could probably do these two things and I bet your body would appreciate it and she was really sweet she didn't view me as the posture police I don't think uh, she was excited and happy to receive my um, my my note to her but what i was thinking about was the fact that so many of us do that we sit down on our couch and we don't really think about you know have i set myself up for success and in her case i do want to make a note that she did have a pillow like underneath her laptop which that already is setting her up for success right however there were these things that two things specifically that i suggested hey look if you want to be on the couch consider doing one of these two things just so that your spine is a little happier after however long you're gonna be there. So I thought that I would demonstrate for you, A, just like the image in which I viewed her, like the photo that inspired me to reach out to her, and then I'd follow that with two of the options that I proposed to her. So you could do this or you could do this in order to be a little bit better uh, as far as taking care of your body when you're in that position. So I've got my laptop, I'm gonna um, grab and then go to my couch. And of course, if you you had any sort of electronic device, it doesn't matter what it is, just whatever you, know, whatever you use usually. So as you can see, I love the pillows. So I always grab pillows when I go to my couch and I'm just gonna start again by showing you what she was doing. So she did, again, she did have a pillow and she was, I think, sort of like, like so. Um, let's see, I think she was like so, like this. So she had the pillow, which again, that's like a pretty big one because you'll see if she didn't have the pillow, it would have been even further down and you can imagine the kind of strain and compression this is doing to her neck. Um, so she did have the pillow, which helped to elevate her computer. So I'm a huge fan of that, like a pillow underneath to help. But you'll see the spine is curved in a sort of C position, which is not ideal, okay? Because what it does is it invites the head forward to get to my computer and I'm in a position that my spine is not really supported. So the first suggestion I have for her is you could just sit more upright. So getting yourself really on those sit bones so that your body is completely upright as you're here, still with the pillow underneath. And then the computer, or again, it could be a Kindle or whatever you use, and then it's here. And then of course you can move the monitor so that you can see with, of course, your eyes, <laughs> right? So instead of bringing your head, you just use your eyes and tilt your head down to da -da -da, do all your work that you have to do. But again, my spine is elongated in a very straight way as opposed to that curve that she had before. The other way, which actually is my preference, when I'm on the couch and working, I prefer this one. So, which is to really commit to lying down. <laughs> if you're going to be on the couch, really just be all the way down here. So, here I am on the couch, and my head is supported underneath, like so. So, it's kind of like constructive rest for those of you who do constructive rest. Now, notice I'm also pulling the pillow out so that it's not underneath my um, my torso. So here I am and my spine is long and then I would grab my pillow and I might be working like so. And to be honest, friends, this is actually the way that <laughs> I do work like this occasionally on my computer. So do, do, do here. Or if you want, you could even, which this is, this is even more comfortable, is you have your legs sort of straight but supported with another pillow underneath. 
and then you can push. I push it very far away. You can see it's almost at the bottom of my torso where I had it. And then I do, 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 do here, like so. So that it's again, my spine is long. I'm actually really resting my spine here because I don't have to worry about keeping it upright. But then my head is also supported. So I would never, ever, ever be here. I don't even have room. I would never be here. And I would never be like so. This is the other thing. You don't want to be like this. Because you see now my neck is tightening. But instead, if you can get it so that the head is resting and it takes some finagling. You have to kind of find the right, the right sweet spot, okay? So getting it so that your head is supported and your spine is long. And then you can work from here. It's actually quite comfortable. <laughs> I think you should, I think you'd agree uh, when you find this position. And then hopefully you don't even want to work that much because you're like, hmm, I'm done. I don't want to I don't want to stay in that position for much longer. So again, you'll see that when you do this and you're, you know, plopping down on your couch, it's helpful if you're mindful of what your body's doing and how you're holding yourself upright or in like whatever position you're in. Oftentimes we start doing a task and we don't really, especially when it comes to electronics, we don't really consider how long we're doing it until it's too late usually, right? The messages our body are giving us are when we've already passed that threshold and now we're, we're in pain or we're uncomfortable. And so if you can pay attention to your body before that happens, it can be really helpful. So I'm gonna suggest that one of the ways you can do that is by closing your eyes before you start working. Because again, anytime we have an electronic, if it's a laptop, if it's a phone, if it's a Kindle or the like, we tend to get sucked into whatever it is that we're doing and we forget about our physical body. So what I do is I like to kind of close my eyes, think about, okay, is there some place in my body that could use something? And usually when I take away that stimulus of whatever electronic device I have, my body talks to me, oh, I could use some socks. My feet are a little cold or, oh, I need to take off my sweatshirt because I'm feeling warm or I need to get another pillow because this is not high enough for my elbows or it's too high or what have you. So just taking that extra small moment before you start working or even interrupting, you could insert that moment in, you know, after 10 minutes of being on the couch or something like that, that can usually make a big difference as far as how you feel after you've spent all that time with your device on the couch or you know whatever other cushy uh, thing that you have around your home. So I would love if you would give this a try. If you have tried this or if you struggle with it, of course you can put comments below and I'm happy to answer those and see if I can help give you some different ideas. And again, if you haven't already friends, I'd love if you'd subscribe. You can do so by hitting the button below. Okay, until next time, friends, take care. Ciao.